These past few days were sleepless nights full of emotion for my Nigerian chef Hilda Bassi. Were you in any way thinking I would not talk about this amazing, interesting news of Hilda Bassi Effion? I ain't come here on. I'm gonna fool you. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of Nigerians, how are you doing? In case you're meeting me for the first time, I'm from Ubu, George. You're opening down here for my Keta Keta. Hey, Nigerians are always very energetic, very interesting, and of course, Hilda's yet to be confirmed record. At the point of me making this video, <laughs> hey, why am I laughing? Because there are some comments I've read about this. I'm going to look at it later as we go on with the video, but let's look at the facts first of all of this news. I would say I am proud of Hilda. Quaka, quaka, quaka. Uh, Pastor Gotok say now, say, these are people of the world. This is something of the world. Uh, maybe I'll hear a pastor saying that uh, it's not about making Guinness Book of Record. It's about <laughs> making heaven. <laughs> now, when we did this earth, because I beg, now make we talk about what thing that happened for this earth. <laughs> okay. Hida herself is set on the record to beat the Indian chef Lata Tandon, who actually had the record before 87 hours, 45 minutes, and 60 seconds of marathon cooking. India. What were you people cooking? This right here is the previous record holder. <laughs> Amazing. Nigerians even went so far to us making a Guinness <laughs> world record holding picture of her that of, of course is fake. But she has not been conferred the title yet, but we are hopeful. I'm hoping as well. Don't see me as bad, Bele. Now they will say, hey, George, you have come again to do your nonsense analysis. Eh, so far as I have fact into it. So at the point of me saying right now, it's all over news that she has beaten the record. At least people were there, and that is a fact. But at the point of her doing that, there was no one from the Guinness World Record team, or would I say platform or whatever, there to watch the proceedings, okay? But there were video cameras and all that. And let me play a snippet of the video um, from Africa News as they were there present as well to interview her and talk about the situation. Interesting. So when I went to Guinness Book of Records website as the kind of person I am, some of you know me now, <laughs> here it's facts over sentiment, no matter how you think about it. I went on the website, it's not been updated yet that she has taken over the record, but of course we are hopeful that she's going to take the record. In fact, she has taken the record. Someone would say, speak faith, 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 speak your faith. When your faith, you speak your faith, it's going to come to reality. She Maybe I'm speaking facts now, uh -huh. but maybe by the time you're watching this, she has officially taken the record. So when I read, read through the comments, people were just writing there, update this, update this. Nigerians went on that portal and they were just commenting they should update it that she has cooked for 100 hours. I'm like, did Nigerians use this same energy? When they just conclude the election, because one motivation behind Hilda doing what she had done is because she wants to show not just Nigerian cuisine, as she spoke to CNN based on the report, but also show the hardworking spirit of a Nigerian youth. And when they put their mind to something, they do it with utmost effect. It had been broken. Nigerians kept the energy alive as Chef Bassi cooked dozens of national delicacies, ranging from soups to various protein. The just concluded presidential election also showed the might of the youth. But we are still in the tribunal right now and hoping to see who's going to be the president from the tribunal, even though Jagavan himself is coming in very soon. Anyway, we won't be, I don't want to talk about this right now, but back on the main subject. Just a little background about Becky. <laughs> on her Instagram handle, I'm seeing some pictures right there. I'm like, hey, all these people that have been following me, oh my God. I am committing uh, sacrilege for them to be seeing all this contour and all this, uh, you know, patterns and all this uh, but uh, <laughs> you see that you don't always have to you see everything you see online is packaging you see the girl right there you see the way she's there on her all back and then she's cooking and then you see that she's walking and i love the way the you know our people were just there to support because even her herself said that <laughs> she was surprised of the turnout but of course nigerians thank you so much for surprising hilda at the event even though people will go there, my God, on a job. Uh -uh. Where did she go? They cook for 100 hours. 
Because you never ask question. That gas took away the cook all this thing. Ah. And all that. So those of you we go there, I never hear any bad news where person talk say the food where she cook no sweet. You know, say cooking not just one nebri that her tea and alcohol. Huh? Anyhow, I understand, but I guess based on on the way they do cooking channels and cooking this, if you're watching the process, you will know if she the food would taste nice or those that were there. But all the same, cooking is what one ne cooking. Huh? She has done well. She deserves a round of applause. One ne quack, quack. I say you should clap now, you will not clap. You don't want to clap, huh? Okay. This is not the first time she has actually been in a competition like this. Last time in 2021, if I'm not mistaken, she won 5,000 US dollars of a Jalov cooking competition. I think it was, you know, <laughs> Ghana Jalov, Nigeria Jalov situation. But of course, she's also not a new person to this particular situation. But for her to put up that particular strength and going on breaks five minutes in every hour just think about that for a moment in every hour she goes for break for only five minutes while this is good news let's look at what peter will be had to say about it the efforts being made by hilda f young bassi hilda becky to beat the current guinness world record for cooking for four days non-stop shows the true nigerian spirit of hard work and resilience ah peter will be joined the conversation one the quarter 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 what did our Jagaban say. <laughs> and now when I went to Facebook <laughs> and I posted this first of all on my page on Facebook, these are some of the comments I saw. <laughs> Edima Frank said, congratulations to her, but let her come and cook with firewood for those hours. <laughs> Only <laughs> let us see. Maybe she will cope with cooking in the <laughs> AC. Hey God. Nigerians, if I catch you, Idima Frank, and then <laughs> Colin said, if Hilda can last 100 hours in the kitchen, just imagine how many hours she will last in the other room. <laughs> Hi, Nigerians, we go, eh? Hey, Jima Fachuku, are you all, eh? Eh? How about some work? Work, eh? Go, 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 <laughs> I will get it. The other room, I beg. You know, I know if you look at her like this, you will know that one, no, I'll be at the other room, one, sorry. <laughs> but like I always tell you people, you don't know how we don't, don't go by everything you see on social media. These are her pictures before. The touch people that are following me now, if they are seeing this, they will say, ah, is this the person I was celebrating? Yeah, but this is her Instagram picture. So now, <laughs> somebody is thinking of the other room. Hey God, we are human beings, so I know. <laughs> but please leave the other room out of this world. You are talking about the main room now, where you know our functionality is being determined. <laughs> but we are talking about food now because I could have been any like this one day. No two ways. You attack the thing. <laughs> that is a fact as well. So whether you like it or not, right now, Madame is one million followers on Instagram. I don't know if she was one million followers before this particular event. But like I always tell you people, attention will bring the currency. And now she has the attention. Like I said, the Guinness World Record or Book of Records were not there to independently verify it, but they will use the evidences that has been brought from the video recording and all that to get to verify if she has taken the position. But at this point right now, I also join Nigerians and the whole world to congratulate her for that bold step. Cooking for 100 hours. See, Guinness Book of Records. See, my governor was there. Sangolu was there. Many celebrities, the news media in Nigeria are already congratulating her. I beg, Guinness Book of Record, if you don't want that your website to shut down, <laughs> because Nigerians will drag you like this, like generator. You see the way they are dragging uh, Jagaba and Pito B and all this, uh, they will drag you full. <laughs> so at least this one now that has given us small joy, small joy like this, that okay, Nigeria is popping on the landscape or the global scale of being a uh, positive news. I beg you. Guinness Book of Record. Biko. Mbok. Eh? I put a I put the on me. Nam. The name is George. Till I see you next time. Signing off. Yeah,